So I'm linking my one. Yes, I'm back with a new video. Let's just get into the video. Today we'll be doing chunky glitter slime. We have gold, pink, green, blue, and silver. I'm just gonna be using regular crystal clear store-bought slimes. And on to the topic. Okay, today's topic is all about symbolism. Now, symbolism can be defined as the practice or art of using an object or a word to represent an abstract idea. An action, person, place, word, or object can have symbolic meanings. When authors want to suggest a certain mood or emotion, they use symbolism to hint at it rather than just blatantly saying it. There are many symbolism examples in literature and the arts, as well as in everyday life. So what is symbolism? Symbolism can take on many forms and be present in many areas of life. A symbol is defined as something that stands for something else, often representing an abstract idea. In other words, the term symbolism simply means that something is being used to convey meaning associated with something else. When a symbol, like a heart, is used to symbolize something like love, that's a real-world example of what symbolism is. When heart imagery appears in a work of art, the artist may be using it to symbolize love, rather than specifically using the word love in their work. The heart is the locus of physical and spiritual being and represents the central wisdom of feeling as opposed to the head wisdom of reason. It is compassion and understanding, life-giving and complex. It is a symbol for love. Any time an object or an element of an object is used to convey meaning beyond its literal purpose, that object or element is an example of symbolism. Another very popular symbolism has to do with flowers. Now, what is exactly the history of flower meanings? The language of flowers has been recognized for centuries in many countries throughout Europe and Asia. They even play a large role in William Shakespeare's works, mythologies, folklore, sonnets, and plays of the ancient Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, and Chinese are peppered with flower and plant symbolism, and for good reason. Nearly every sentiment imaginable can be expressed with flowers. Flowers can say love, console in sorrow, congratulate in achievement, and celebrate friendship. Flower messages have varied tremendously throughout the ages. The same flower has meant different things at different times and in different places. A quick and simple definition of symbolism, just to wrap it up. Symbolism is a literary device in which a writer uses one thing, usually a physical object or phenomenon, to represent something more abstract. A strong symbol usually shares a set of key characteristics with whatever it is meant to symbolize, or is related to it in some other way. Character events can also be symbolic. Some additional key details about symbolism. Symbolism can be very subtle, so it isn't always easy to identify or understand. It can sometimes be difficult to say whether an author intended for something to be symbolic or not. Symbolism allows writers to convey things to their readers poetically or indirectly rather than having to say them outright, which can make texts seem more nuanced and complex. Types of symbolism. Now a symbol can be a physical object, a character, or an event. Here is a brief overview of how each type of symbolism works. Symbolism through physical objects. Most often, physical objects are used to symbolize an idea or concept as a way of pointing the reader towards some of the basic themes that a work is dealing with. For example, a poet might write a poem about a flower dancing in the wind in order to convey a sense of innocence, harmony with nature, or sheer happiness. Second type, symbolism through characters. Sometimes characters themselves can serve as symbols, of a particular virtue or vice, or of a political ideology. Symbolism through events. Events can also be symbolic. For example, while a character's long, wild hair might symbolize a period of youth or innocence, a scene in which the character chops off his or her long hair might symbolize a loss of innocence, or the sacrifices people have to make in the process of becoming 
a mature adult with responsibilities. While the act of cutting off the hair is neither an object nor a character, but it will still be an example of symbolism. Now the crescent moon is a symbol of new beginnings, hope and optimism. It signifies the waxing phase of the lunar cycle when night becomes day in its fullest form. This phase can also be seen as representing life's journey from darkness into light. It offers guidance to those who are lost on their path. They also stand as a reminder that there is always hope in trying again after failure no matter what happens. So why use symbolism at all? Well, it's hard to find a work of literature that lacks any kind of symbolism. Symbolism is an important literary device for creating complex narratives because it enables writers to convey important information without having to state things directly. In addition, the use of symbolism is widespread because it can help readers visualize complex concepts and central themes and track their development, afford writers the opportunity to communicate big ideas efficiently and artfully, invite readers to interpret a text independently rather than be directly told what the author means, add emotional weight to a text, conceal themes that are too controversial to state openly, imply change of growth in characters or themes through shifts in the way that characters interact with particular symbols or ways in which the symbols themselves change over time. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out!